Hello, Williamson County Library friends. Um, it's really great to see you. I have with me lots of different things for our universe of stories. And I thought we would start uh, with my whiteboard and this black marker. I'm going to draw something, and I want to see if you can tell what it is. Here we go. So we've got kind of a square right here, right? And then a rectangle. And then what may look like arms, right? This is a robot. His eyes are closed. And he's got one of those little antennas on his head. So on this robot, I'm going to put three buttons. We have a red button at the bottom, a green button in the middle, and a blue button at the top. OK, so if all of you could get your robot button pushing fingers ready, OK? And what we're going to do is we're going to press this red button and see what happens. Everybody ready? Let's press the red button. Boop. Robot waking up. Oh, there's his eyes. Hello, everyone. Well, hello, robot. Could everyone please press my green button? OK, so we'll, we'll get our robot button pushing fingers again. And we'll press the green button. Here we go. Boop. Oh. Oh, robot, did you just toot? Yes, I did. Please press my green button again. OK. Boop. Ah, oh, robot, that's disgusting. I am very sorry. I had beans for lunch. Whatever. Could everyone please press my blue button? OK, I guess we are going to press his blue button. So last time, robot button pushing fingers ready. And we'll press the blue button. Boop. Robot flying in three, two, one. Oh, looks like he's flying away. Oh, I just see his feet. You guys see his feet? And robot is gone. Hmm. I wonder where he went. You'll have to find me. OK, let's see if we can find the robot. Do you see him somewhere? He's upside down, up there, right? Um, where'd he go now? <gasps> down there, right? Robot. Where did you go, robot? Mm? Over there, right? OK, and over here. All right. And where is robot now? He's gone, right? I guess that's it for robot. So. We can tell stories in a lot of different ways. We can draw pictures. We can use words. We can also use music, right? I brought my very favorite instrument in the world, and it is my bass. And I'm going to get it out right now, if I can find it. Um, do you see a big, tall bass somewhere? Nope. It's right here. It was right next to me the whole time. I'm going to get my bass out, and we are going to say hello. Could everybody say, hello, bass? Bass, um, how are you doing today? He's really excited to see you. So, Bass, what do you think you want to do? Oh, sure. Bass wants to show you his favorite dance move. Um, I'm going to put his bow away so you can see Bass's really cool dance move. Bass. Are you ready to do your dance move? He is. All right. Go for it, bass. Hey. Pretty impressive, huh? Bass, are, are, are you dizzy? Are you OK? All right. I think he's good now. So um, there's a guy, and his name's Camille St. Sans. And he wrote a group of songs called Carnival of the Animals. And each song was supposed to represent a different animal. So he wrote one song for the bass. Now I'm going to play this song. And I want to see if this reminds you of a certain animal. OK, so I'm going to play it, think about it, see if you can tell what animal this is going to make you think of. Here's a hint. It is a very big animal. Here we go.
Did that make you think of a certain animal? I'll give you a hint. It's big and gray, and it has a long trunk. It was an elephant, right? That was the elephant song. Uh, Bass, would you maybe want to play a game with the kids? Hide and go seek? Bass, I don't think we can play hide and go seek with the kids. Why not? Be because you're so big. I don't think you're going to be a very good hider. He wants to just try it. Okay. So why don't we do this? Um, all of you guys and me will close our eyes. Base is going to hide. We'll see if we can find him. Okay? So maybe we should count to 10. We'll do it. All right. Close your eyes. We're counting to 10. Base is going to hide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. Open your eyes. See if you can find base. Well, he's definitely not up there or over there. Hmm. Wait a second. Base? Are, are you over here? Look, he took my hat. Nice job, base. He's here. All right, base. Do you want to do a couple songs with the kids? He would love to do a song with you. Why don't we do the clap your hands and stomp your feet one? Okay, we're going to do that. So, um, I'm going to teach you a song. Um, we start by waving a hand. Can everybody wave your hand with me? Good. Then we stand on one foot. So you got to kind of use your balance like that, right? All right. Um, then we rock our hips. We bite our lips. We knock our knees. And then we twirl. Okay? Can you guys remember all of those things? Ready? What do we do first? Wave our hands, right? I can wave my hand. On one foot I'll stand. Let's wiggle our feet. I can wiggle my feet to this beat. Get ready, we're gonna rock our hips now. I can rock my hips and bite my lip. Can you bite your lip? It's really good lip biting. Okay, let's knock our knees now. I can knock my knees if I please. Get ready, we're gonna twirl. Hey, let's twirl around. Let's twirl around again. Nice job, everybody. Bass, do you want to make a couple of impressions for us? Um, he was going to do an airplane sound for everybody. Bass, why don't you do your airplane sound for everybody? Pretty good, huh? Bass, why don't you do your big ship for everybody? Here's bass's ship sound. Not bad at all, bass. Oh, you know what I love? When he does his motorcycle. Bass, will you do your motorcycle for everybody? That was pretty awesome, huh? Base, I think it's probably time to say goodbye to the kids. Base, you, you don't need to be sad. Um, we'll probably see the kids again very soon. Um, do you, do you want to go ahead and say goodbye to the kids? That's his way of saying goodbye. Okay. I'm going to put my base now down here. And I'm going to get this rope out. Uh, I've been training this rope uh, to do some different things. You can see he's just kind of a wobbly rope, but um, I think if I do it just right, I can make him stay, okay? Base, or uh, uh, rope, stay! Eh? All right. Uh, rope, wiggle. There he is, okay. Rope, stay! Eh? Rope, wiggle! Pretty cool, huh? All right, I'm going to put my rope away. And I'm going to get my friend Felix the Fox out. Now, Felix draws some really cool pictures 
uh, but sometimes he gets nervous. I'm hoping he won't be too nervous when he sees you guys, so we'll get him out and see what happens. Hopefully he'll draw some really cool pictures for us. All right. Felix, come out, Felix. <laughs> Felix, you don't need to be nervous. It's just the kids. Go ahead, peek your little eyes out. <laughs> Felix, seriously, it's totally fine. <laughs> Felix, you got to get off of my face, buddy. <laughs> Felix, take your hands off of your eyes. <laughs> oh, oh, you guys aren't scary at all. No, they're not scary. So Felix, I was hoping you could draw some pictures for the kids. Uh, would you be okay doing that? Of course I will. Okay, um, what if we did some animals? Do you think you could draw some different animals for us? Oh, oh, absolutely I will. Okay, well, I'm gonna get your marker out. And why don't you draw um, our first picture for the kids? Here we go. First animal picture. See if you can guess what this is. Is that a, a fish? You bet it is! Nice job, Felix. You drew that really fast. I know. I'm, I'm really fast at drawing fish. Okay. You got another one for us, Felix? You bet I do! Next animal picture. See if you can guess what this is. Hmm. Oh, wait. I think I know what this might be. Felix, is, is that a bird? It is a bird. Hey, can, can you guys all make a bird sound with me? I, I guess we can, right? Is it tweet tweet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tweet tweet. Thanks, Felix. Here we go. Next picture. See if you can guess what this is. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I think I know. Felix, is, is that a dog? It is a dog. And dogs say, woof, woof. Woof, woof. That's actually a really good dog sound. Uh, thank you. Um, Felix, thank you for drawing all those pictures. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is it? I have one more picture for everybody. Uh, okay. Are, are we okay seeing one more picture from Felix? Yeah, we can do one more picture. Felix, is it an animal picture? Hmm. Maybe? All right. Here's your marker. See if you can guess what this is. Hmm. I don't know if I know. Wait, Felix, did, did you just draw a toilet? Yes, I did. Felix, you were supposed to be drawing an animal picture. Yeah, but I, I just can't help it. Toilets are my favorite picture in the world. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe you can make it an alive toilet. Oh, oh, you bet I can. Check it out. I'll give it. Eyes? Hey, the toilet has eyes. It kind of is starting to look like an animal. I'll give it a, a nose and, and a mouth. I'll even make it wave to everybody. All right. I guess this is sort of like a, a toilet animal. It is a toilet animal. Um, well, thanks for drawing pictures for us, Felix. You bet. Goodbye, everybody. See you later, Felix. Okay, there he goes. I'm going to put him down. And I'm going to get my ukulele out. It's a tiny little instrument. And we're going to do a very short song. It goes like this. I found a seed, and it was around. And I planted it in the ground. Oh, the rain came, and the sun shined. And out popped a cat. And it went meow, meow, meow. All right, there we go. Ukulele's down. So, behind this object, I have a few different instruments. Now, what I thought I would do is play these instruments and see if you can guess what the instruments are. Okay? So, I'm going back here. I'm going to play this first instrument. I want you to listen carefully, see if you can figure out what it is. All right? Here it goes.
any guesses what that might have been? Did you guess violin? If you did, congratulations. It is a violin. Okay. Round number two. I'm going to play another instrument. See if you can guess what this one is. Did anybody guess what that instrument was? It's this. This is a trombone. I thought, real quick, I could try to make an elephant sound with a trombone. Yeah? We're good with that? Here is the trombone being an elephant. Pretty good trombone. All right, I'm going to put him down. And we're going to do the final mystery instrument. Major bonus points if you can get this one. OK? See if you can guess what this instrument is. Super hard one. It's this. Have you guys seen one of these before? It's called an air who. And if you look really carefully, you can see that there's real snake skin on the front. Comes from China. It's pretty crazy, right? All right, I'm going to put my air who away now. And I'm going to get my friend, the purple monster, out. Can everybody say, hello, purple monster? Hello, purple monster. Oh, oh. Who said that? Well, it was the kid's purple monster. Well, I can't see him. Oh, that's right. It's because he doesn't have any eyes, does he? Purple monster, I have great news. I have eyes for you. You do? Yes, I do. Here's one. And here's the other one. Do you see the kids? Oh, there they are. Hi, kids. But what is it, purple monster? I can't smell anything. Oh. Hmm. What would we have to give Purple Monster to smell with? A nose, right? OK. Purple Monster, great news. I have this big orange nose for you. There you go. You want to try it out? <laughs> it totally works. Awesome. Um, purple Monster, I have some great news. I'm even going to give you a couple of horns. What do you think of that? Love it. And amazing. But what if I wanted to chew something? Oh, what would we have to give him to chew with? Teeth, right? Purple monster, I have some teeth for you. Go ahead and open your mouth. And I'm going to give you your teeth. Here you go. Oh, this is wonderful. But what if I wanted to give somebody a high five? Oh, I guess he would need hands and arms to give you high fives, right? So, purple monster, I have these two arms for you. Here's one. Love it. And here's the other one. Perfect. Now I can totally give high fives. Right. Um, do you want to try to clap your hands? You bet I do. Check it out. Meh, 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 meh. Purple monster. That was really cool. And bonus, I even have some beautiful blue hair for you. Oh, I look gorgeous. And Bonus, I even have this furry yellow belly button for you. Oh, I love it. There, we'll put it right there. Do you want to see it? It looks amazing. And great news, I even have this orange tail for you. Oh, great. Put it on. OK. Here you go, purple monster. Do you want to, uh, you want to wag it for everybody? Mm-hmm. Here I go. Hmm. Nice, purple monster. So, what are we going to do with everybody? Well, actually, Purple Monster, uh, we have a couple more things to do, and I'm going to have to put you away. What? Yeah, i got to take all your stuff off now. Oh, man! Yeah, I'm going to take your tail off. <laughs> and i I got to take your belly button off. <laughs> and i I got to take your teeth out. <laughs> and your arms. And your crazy blue hair. 
and your horns, Ouch. and your nose, and your eyes. Hey, purple monster, it's okay, buddy. Hey, did, did you want to say goodbye to the kids? Yeah, go ahead, purple monster. Goodbye, kids. See you later, purple monster. Okay, he's going. And I thought we could do a dancing song. Um, so, in the song, we're going to start by clapping our hands. Then we stomp our feet. Then we spin around and jump, all right? Then we're going to blink our eyes. And we're going to duck down. You'll get it, all right? So we're starting off kind of the slow version. Here we go. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. Spin around and jump. Good. Blink your eyes with the beat. Wave your arms and duck down. Everybody duck down. Jump up. Duck down. Everybody duck down. Jump up. Nice job. Now that you know how it goes, we're going to do it again. This time, faster. So we're going to take these invisible speed dials that are in front of us, and we're going to move them to 84. Are you ready? So we go. Good? OK. We're going to stretch out a little bit, a couple of deep breaths. We're going to do it again, this time faster. Is everybody ready? Here we go. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, spin around and jump. Blink your eyes with the beat, wave your arms and duck down. Everybody duck down, jump up, duck down. Everybody duck down, jump up. We made it. Okay, do you think you could do it even faster this time? We'll take those invisible speed dials and we're going to move them to 314. Okay? So here we go, we're going to go. Okay, 314. Deep breaths. Getting ready. Everybody ready? Let's do this. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, spin around and jump. Blink your eyes with the beat, wave your arms and duck down. Everybody duck down, jump up. Duck down, everybody duck down, jump up. We made it. That was really good, everyone. Okay, we're going to do it one final time. The fastest version in the world. So I want you to take those invisible speed dials and move them to one million. Yeah? You think we can do it? So we go. Okay, deep breaths. Stretching out our arms. Fastest version in the world. Is everyone ready? Here we go. <laughs> we made it. Okay. Nice job, everyone. All right. I'm going to get my whiteboard back out. I'm going to do one kind of wacky thing. We're going to invent a creature right now. This creature has never existed, so I'm just going to draw some things. We'll see what happens, okay? First question, how many eyes our creature should have? I think we're going to go with one. So here's one eye for our creature. Maybe we can give him this tube that comes down the bottom and a body like this and sharp teeth and maybe he's got like tentacles. All right, maybe we'll even give him stripes like this. Kind of looks like an alien, don't you think? All right, I think you might be done. Hello, alien. Hello, everybody. Alien. You kind of have a creepy voice. Hey, watch it. I I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Um, hey, you got any food? Um, food. Do we have any food for the alien? Uh, alien, what do you eat? I like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Oh, okay, I guess we could probably feed him a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. We'll uh, put one together. It's an invisible one, right? So. I'm hoping you guys all have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Do you guys have one? Okay. Alien, we've got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for us, uh, for you to eat. So, go ahead and open your mouth. Okay. Count of three. We are going to throw the peanut butter and jelly sandwich in the alien's mouth. Here we go. One, two, three. Throw it! And, oh, looks like he caught it. Delicious. Thank you so much, everybody. I am very tired now. Oh, you're tired? Oh, yes. <sighs> oh, I think the alien just fell asleep. What do you say we scare the alien 
will wake him up. So what I'm going to do, I thought we could count to three, and we'll all say, wake up, alien! See if he likes it. Are you ready? So we go, one, two, three. Wake up, alien! <gasps> hey, alien, I'm sorry. We didn't mean to scare you. We just thought it would be kind of a fun game to, to wake you up. Uh, did you like the game? Eh, kinda. I'll take that. Yeah. Um, alien, uh, it was really fun for hanging out with you. Yes, uh, I had fun too. Do you guys want to say goodbye to the alien? Uh, see you later, alien. Goodbye, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Whoop. All right, alien's gone. Kids, I had so much fun playing and singing with you, and I sure wish we could see each other in person, but I'm sure we will soon. I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everybody.